hello everyone my name is Oma welcome again to my channel if you're here to subscribe please do so so that you'll be the first person to know when I get to post a video so in this video I'm going to be answering a question that was sent to me by one of you but I'm going to be leaving a link below of two of my books that I've written so that you can be able to get them and read sweetie dating rules and when God writes a girl's love story so let's answer this question Roots Christensen is asking, is there anything wrong when a man and a woman not married, have no sex, live together? Is there anything wrong with that? Just want to know. Well, when I wanted to do this video, I actually spoke to some people. Like I asked them, like, what do you think of this question? Because I wanted to know what they also thought of the question. In, mo in my mind, I really knew the answer and I felt everybody should know this. Like, like everybody's supposed to know this but the funny thing was that when i was asking people this question the feedback i got was actually shocking i felt like are you serious people don't know this so you know like i i said let me do this video let me answer this question looking at the story of joseph when potiphar's wife held his garments or i think his clock he ran away you know i kept asking myself why did this guy have to run you know like he's stronger than potiphar's wife and then he can actually just stop and be like oh hey woman don't come close to me you know he can do that and then he ran away you'll be wondering like why why did he run he don't have to run right <laughs> but the first rule when it comes to avoiding sin is to run you don't you don't have time to want to wait and start explaining the reasons why you cannot do it you know i'm a christian i fear god i love god so much there's no time for that you have to run because this is flesh so both of you cannot be staying in the same room and then you think that one day nothing will happen like when potiphar's wife was trying to lure him to bed he ran away he didn't even wait to explain to her like oh this is my reason do you know i'm a child of god do you know i'm a man of god like i cannot do this he didn't even wait to explain he ran that is what you should know as a christian you should not put yourself in that position where you will you will commit sin okay let's see this man rapes you like what are you going to say you are in the house with him you are probably cooking for him you're probably you're probably doing all the things that a wife should do for him like how is he even going to marry you like okay let's say he will marry you but do you know that if you're already opening doors for the devil to bring in negativity into your marriage you should not put yourself in that position where you will fornicate don't put yourself in that position where you will sin no you're you're too awesome you're too beautiful so wait let him wait like you guys should wait in separate rooms you know wait for each other to the right time maybe if you come around to see you in the family house you can give him a room and then you stay in that room i hope i'm not being so harsh but i just want you to get the message because i really don't want you to go about it the wrong way don't be yourself in that position <laughs> that's all i'm just trying to say you have heard that it was said to those of old you shall not commit adultery but i say to you that whosoever looks at a woman to lust for her has already committed adultery with her in his heart matthew 5 27 to 28 so what is he trying to say you and this guy are staying in the same room you're staying together you're living together is it right it's wrong because he's a guy and there's no how you're living with him that he's not thinking things there's no how like i don't even know how that is going to happen both of you staying in the same room when you're not married it's not right so if you're here to read my two books i'm going to leave a link below where you can be able to assess it the number one book is 20 dating rule and the second book is when it, when god writes a girl's love story please don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe i really hope i was able to answer your question roots and if you have any other question that you want to ask me send your questions to omablog at gmail.com and follow me at official underscore oma bye guys